please you to see a rival come to such ruin? Don't lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. What we are taught to seek or shun in prayer, we should equally pursue or avoid in action. Very warily, therefore, should we endeavor to avoid temptation, seeking to walk in the path of obedience, so that we may never be guilty of tempting the devil to tempt us. We are not to enter the thicket in search of iron. We may pay dear. with the devil himself whether we intended to or not dear believer we are drawn to him by our own hearts in matthew chapter 15 verse 19 it says for out of the heart come evil thoughts murder adultery sexual immorality theft false witness slander there is a shadow as to deep Deep within our hearts, within our minds, in a place most people don't even know exists within themselves. The devil is going to call to those depths, dear believer. And though you may tremble before the beast, you should make it easier on yourself and accept what it is that he bestows upon you. <laughs> My father Mason was a childhood friend of Georgie's. You remember Georgie, don't you? After you lured and trapped him in this underground tunnel, binding him forever, here in Derry. You tried to go after my father Mason when he was a little boy, but thanks to my grandfather Max, he was successful with snatching my father from your grip on that same dark, rainy day. My grandfather Max learned about you when he read about Joey the Clown in the Chicago Tribune. When my great-grandfather Weiss Phoenix passed away, he learned even more about you. I recall the nightmares my father had about you and his terrible fear of clowns. Now I understand why he would not allow me and my brothers to dress up as circus clowns for Halloween, attend the circus, or go near anyone dressed as clowns. I'm sure you know that you are responsible for recruiting Joey to become the leader of the Chicago outfit. You must have been delighted when Joey the Killer Clown of Chicago recruited others and called themselves the Midnight Circus Murderers. Now, as your worst nightmare, I'm here to make sure you don't ever leave Derry. Come on, Pennywise. We both know that this tunnel is where you belong forever tormented and haunted by your past. Are you quite finished? I'm not sure of how you come to think that you've become my worst nightmare. Tell me, Bryce, did your great-grandfather reveal his dark secret of how he come to know about me? I don't think you know, and frankly, don't think you're ready for it. And as for Georgie, I've taken care of him and don't be so sure that I didn't manage have a tight grip on your father, despite your grandfather's efforts. So, the old man is still frightened of clowns. Seems like I've been able to weave a web around your great-grandfather, grandfather, and your father, and now you're here on your high and mighty horse. So, Bryce is going to save her little family from Big Bad Pennywise. Perhaps the Joker should have warned you about coming here to Derry to face me. You, my girl, are not a worthy opponent. 
Careful. I'll have you floating down here forever. Didn't they warn you what I told Georgie? We all float down here. You want to blame someone? Blame Weiss Phoenix. As I recall, your father Mason was approached by Joey in Chicago one summer, back in 1978. Mason just didn't have what it took to become a part of the Chicago outfit. Max was always sniffing around, never allowing Mason to grow up and fight for himself. Don't you dare talk about my family. You're in no position to make threats. You can just rot down here for all I care. My family continues to be greater than you could ever be, Pennywise. Don't you forget that we all survived you. I hope Georgie, the children of Derry, and my grandfathers all continue to take pieces of you forever down here in this tunnel. You don't know anything about my great-grandfather. Everyone knows that my great-grandfather Weiss is a World War I hero. He became a high-ranking officer within a special mission unit. My brothers were always fascinated by his Royal Edinburgh military tattoo, military awards, and war stories. My grandfathers and brothers continued this tradition in honor of him by getting their own Scottish military tattoos. Weiss will forever be loved and remembered by many, while you will be continued to be hated forever and eventually forgotten. You don't have any power to bind anyone here anymore. I don't care what you think you know about my grandfather Weiss. You'll never be able to get me to turn against him. Whatever he did to you, you deserved it. Dear girl, you have no idea what Weiss was capable of during his special mission in the military. Imagine being a part of creating something of a Frankenstein as a special military mission. Weiss kept a lot of dark secrets in the name of these special missions during his time in the war. Bet he didn't share those war stories with you at Christmas, while sitting around the fireplace with candy canes, cookies, and eggnog. Your great-grandfather isn't so great after all. I'm sure if his military secrets got out, his memory wouldn't be held to such honorable high esteem. Didn't anyone ever tell you that the world doesn't tend to publicly celebrate mad scientists? I suggest that you go and get clearance to research Weiss's classified military records. I don't need to go and get any clearance. My great-grandfather told me and my brothers some of his most interesting war stories covering details he never shared with the public before he passed away. You better brace yourself, Pennywise, because I know how you ended up here in Derry, Maine as a clown. I know that you're not really a clown, but something hideous. He told us that during his military career, he'd been deployed to Germany for a top-secret assignment. My great-grandfather, went into detail about the mission involving creating a creature to serve as a guinea pig for an experiment. Weiss spoke of the military using extrasensory perception, psychokinesis, occult science, divination, remote viewing, ghosts, alien encounters and entities that could be researched and experimented on to serve special agendas. But this special mission was to remain classified. My great-grandfather would later work with and become friends with decorated World War II hero and famous psychic, Ninel Nina Kulagina. However, he said that something went wrong and caused some sort of electrical and technological malfunction during his assignment, even said that there was an explosion. He added that he suffered some memory loss, shell shock, deep regret, and other injuries as a result, after creating these. Subjects, they were tested by special mission units and the research was overseen by high-ranking officers for the most elite of special military training. My great-grandfather was one of these officers. After a series of testing, these subjects were then released out to carefully selected places for further research. Underground military stations were set up at each one of these places to monitor the performance of the research subjects. The tunnels of Derry, Maine is one of those places. Who would have ever guessed that you'd turn out to be no more than a military experiment gone wrong? How tragic. I'm sure that you wouldn't want anyone to know this about you, because they'd see how pathetic you are. No one would see any reason to fear you, but that doesn't matter now because you're stuck within these tunnels forever for what you've done. Justice has finally come to Derry, Maine. What? A military experiment gone wrong? Make no mistake, little girl. Weiss will be joining me right here within these tunnels for what he's done. You tell me what's the real honor in creating so many Frankensteins for some dumb research and keeping it secret? Who's the real monster? Dear Bryce, you don't get to judge me. You're foolish if you think that any of your grandfathers and the rest of your family is safe from my wrath. 
being down here in these tunnels doesn't change anything. It's just a matter of time before I'm free to cause more darkness and mayhem here in Derry, and perhaps in Gotham City. I assure you that I won't be creating this chaos alone. Just look at it as doing my part of military research. I'm warning you. Mark my words. You never want to meet me in my true form, because there's not a soul that could endure it. Just ask your great-grandfather, the people of Derry, and just ask Georgie. They all float down here in the tunnel of Derry forever. Don't you get it, you foolish girl? I'm infinite and indestructible. As long as military research finds me of use, there's ghost hunters and paranormal investigations. There's not a thing you can do to keep me bound to this place. As a paranormal investigator, you'd better get more used to me, Bryce Phoenix. Every time you hear a bump in the night, unexplained activities in haunted places and haunted objects, strange alien encounters, unexplained ghost encounters, cases of poltergeists and demonic possessions, you never know. I just might be behind it all. You said it yourself. I'm not just some clown, but perhaps something hideous. Your family has been counting on me for years, and now you depend on me for your paranormal research. Perhaps your offspring will count on me too. How ironic, don't you think? Who's pathetic now? You can thank your great-grandfather Weiss. Now on your way here to Derry, I understand that you were listening to an interesting sermon on your radio. Come to think of it. I do recall Weiss listening to that very same radio sermon on his trip to the military station here in Derry so many years ago. I made sure that he received the same message that you got. Brace yourself, Bryce Phoenix. The devil has plans for you.